So what is virtual object? When to use virtual object? Now, we have seen in our uh, initial objects by program, the object is recognized. Object is not recognized at all. For example, I will try to record on this Minesweeper. See how the script is generated. Now I am going to record it with the normal mode. That is context sensitive mode. Because we may not know whether the object is really a non-standard object or a standard object or a non-recognized object. So what we do is we try to record. I now record on that Minesweeper in a normal mode. See what happens as I now record. So I have selected the Minesweeper window. I clicked on to the deal button. I have selected the deal button. Then, oh, I am sorry. I am sorry. There is already a reference. I will remove those references. I am back to normal. This is how your initial settings will be. Now I am going to record now. So I am trying to record on a Minesweeper. I select this deal button. You can now see that the script is adding each and every line with reference to the low level recording mode. Click location, right hand side top. I clicked on all this. I now again clear the deal, I stop it. Now QTP is able to record on all these objects, not an issue. If I replay it, I run it, he is able to even re replay well as well. There is no issues at all. So he is now running on that object. You can see now, he is clicking, selecting the Minesweeper, he is clicking the deal button, he has clicked the left corner bottom left, right bottom, right top. He has clicked all those events without any problem. But the legibility in the script, by reading the script, you never know what does, uh, what is on which object the action is performed. You never know, say 8225, you never know this 8225 is a deal button. You never know 1765 is the left top button. You never know this. That is the disadvantage of low level recording or objects that is not in a recognition mode. So I am not able to recognize the object because of that with whatever level I am recognizing, I am trying to understand the events that you have done using low level recording. So here under the window by default QTP uses low level recording. Now, I, I want to convert it all this because of the legibility, clarity is not there on which object he has performed. I want this object to be converted as a virtual object. It is not a real object, I am converting it as a virtual object. So virtual object is available under tools, virtual objects and you have a virtual object manager. So virtual object manager is the place it will show you all the objects that is recognized under this manager. So using this virtual object I am now make it is not a real object but I am making it as an object. So when I click on new I come to the virtual object window wizard. In this wizard it tells me what are all you can do in that wizard. Right. Now I am going to next. First option is which what is the select what is the class that you want to convert to? What is the class you want to convert to? Please remember in case if you are going for a certification, what are all the classes supported by virtual object you should know. So object, button, table, list, checkbox, radio button. 
these are all from the certification point of view so now in my case i want to treat it as a button in my case the deal i want to convert now the deal for me it is a button so i am converting now deal as a button next i mark the object i click on mark the object right i am selecting the mark object so i will get a, a plus symbol where i use a left mouse and right uh, drag and make that object visible record that object i mark that object now i am now releasing my left mouse now the object is now width and height is recognized now i go to next so what i did i clicked on mark object i place my hand on that object beginning of the object right i now place my click left click dragged and drop dragging and then dropping on as soon as i match that entire object map the entire object i recorded now you can see now width and height is identified as 24 by 24 i go to next it is a mind sweeper under this window i want this to be recognized so i say parent only yes next button vivo collection i now rename this button as say deal button or smiley button whatever you want to rename it i rename it and you want to add any more object to this yes i want to add because there are some individual boxes which i have used that is these buttons all these buttons that you see here these also i want to mark it i want to configure it if you have a patience you can mark it as an individual button each one so there are totally nine rows and nine columns so nine rows and nine columns you can mark it individually if you have a patience or you are observing a symmetry here yes are we observing a symmetry to this button the size of the button is same between each row and a column so if the size is same instead of i use as a button now i treat that class as table class i treat that class as a table class now because i have a definite rows and columns i know the number of rows is 9 and number of columns is 9 i make it as 9 rows and 9 columns because there is a symmetry observed if you don't observe a symmetry you cannot manage it next i say next now i mark the object using mark object the same way i click on mark object i come to the main window i identify the mind sweeper the topmost button i select it drag now left click is clicked drag you can see now the grid is expanding and i'm going to the bottom most nine rows and nine columns in that grid i am now marking the object i am removing now my selection you can now see that width is 144 height is 145 it is now recognized as nine rows and nine columns i say next again parent only when you are doing the practice you need to change it to entire parent hierarchy and try to understand what is the difference between the entire parent hierarchy and the parent only to this window to other windows as well other window is paint is another candidate of a virtual object so now table i want to rename it as a table itself do you want to manage it no finish i now created two virtual objects deal and table virtual object is nothing but an extension to the object identification for your remembrance i uh, object identification doesn't have these objects i am extending the object identification in the form of virtual object manager i now say okay i close it now i have created a virtual object now it is ready before i record i now see you can see the object repository you have seen only with the mind sweeper initially
that is how it is recorded right so there is no other object recorded now i run close it record again record on the main sweeper again now already virtual object is configured now i click the main sweeper activate i now click on to the deal button smiley button now you can see the left hand side how the script is getting added left top bottom left right bottom top right i say again clear it same activity now i have done but using virtual object now in this if you can see now the way the object is recognized virtual button deal dot click virtual table dot select cell 1 comma 1 right select cell 9 comma 1 select cell 9 comma 9 you can see now legibility in the way it is recorded is clear i know now which objects he has recorded with i now run the script again now i you can the previous run also is going to get executed the bottom run also is going to get executed right so i am now running the script now you can see now how it is getting executed So he is executing now. The first portion of the thing script is executed. Now the second portion of the script. Right? The second portion is also got executed without any problem. Now the advantage of this is I can I want to now select fifth row and fifth column. I want to now select I just copy the cell, I copied the cell, I rename now select cell 5 comma 5. I can do this now. Right? So I run the script, you can see now how it is running. If I want to run only from line number 11, I select the line number 11, right click, run from step. That is this also I can do. I now run from step 11, I say OK. Now you can see only the, from that line it is getting executed. Activate, deal button 1, deal, then 1 comma 1, 9 comma 1, 5 comma 5, you can, uh, I'm sorry there is a, so I, I put it 5 dot 5, that is why the error is. Now I make it as a 5 comma 5 instead of dot. Again I want to execute from that beginning from line number 11. Click, right click, run from step. I say OK. Executing now again. So it is acting now left right middle you can see now 5 comma 5 is executed 9 comma 9 then 1 comma 9 are you able to see it yes means raise your hand yes means raise your hand are you able to notice the difference yes anybody else very few hands okay fine so I now this is what the virtual object is all about. So virtual object is only a legibility for the purpose of legibility or maintenance of the script we go with the virtual objects. Right? Virtual objects are not the candidate to solve a problem related to add in. Please note a point. Virtual objects are not the one to be used for 
objects which has an add in issue it is not the solution provider you cannot use virtual objects so virtual objects can be used for procedural programming and the difference between the normal object and the virtual object is if i click on to the left hand side button i want to know the value what has been here in this box it is null value now i want to know the fourth row is having one i cannot retrieve this values even though you are make converted as a virtual object each and every object you are converted now as button even though you are converted you cannot have this one say for example this one you cannot read that is not available so what you can best you can do the methods that is supported by a table object in case if you want to say window mind sweeper dot virtual button what are all the supported methods for the get deal so you have get arrow properties so in get arrow properties you cannot get that uh, any property value because there is no property value defined for it so it, uh, maximum it supported is click capture bitmap double click etc or whether this object exist you can check these are all what you can check so if you see this virtual button in the repository now resources object repository you can now see the deal button these are all the properties i have now name you have given it as deal so this name is nothing but what is available in that particular what you have given right it is not the what is available for that object it is what you have given i have recognized with x and y coordinates within the parent object mind sweeper this is the location of the object width is 24 height is 24 name is d this is how i recognize the object table x and y coordinates width is 144 height is 145 name is table rows is 9 columns are 9 so this is the way i recognize that object so if i want to now select i can only select from this whatever is available i can do a click event yes i can do a click event now next i'll go to the table object mind sweeper dot virtual table now table selected dot these are all again properties available for you to use i can use a select cell that is what we have done method right i can this two string and all is only if you have any other available things you can convert it you can convert it but as such it doesn't allow you to retrieve anything else so these are all the difficulties or disadvantages of virtual objects that is why virtual objects is not a replacement candidate for the standard adding is this clear now with this we have completed now virtual objects right the next thing that we are moving from now on the topics that we are going to cover are